Hello, everyone. I would like to continue our discussion on EMC consideration. For today, we are going to focus why we need to do EMC testing. So this will be the part two series discussion. Okay, the part one, the video link I have included under the description. So please go and read the part one series before you actually come to this video. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, again, I'd like you guys to help this channel by like and subscribe. So please click the subscribe button now. Thank you. There are four reasons okay, why we need to do testing for EMC. The first reason is because of the limit electromagnetic spectrum. Okay, we have a finite amount of spectrum for transmission. I guess everyone know okay, when we actually want to establish communication or transmission, a frequency is actually assigned to the device. But however, we have a finite amount of spectrum, therefore we cannot go on and on to assign the spectrum to all the device. Next, unfortunately, even electronic device, without any transmitter, they also emit out electromagnetic wave. Okay, without limit the amount of unintended electromagnetic radiation from the electronic product that you design, Okay, the electromagnetic spectrum, they could be messy, okay, which means that if you want to transmit, you just transmit. Okay, this will be actually jeopardize the rest of those that are using the spectrum. Okay, for example, the radio transmission, they can actually be compromised because someone actually used the band, which is not supposed to use by other devices. As the number of wireless electronic products continue to grow, okay, and then the already packed electromagnetic spectrum, okay, it becomes even more and more crowded. So we need to have a protocol how to ensure that everybody are compliant to the EMC requirement. Next, the protection of this essential resource, they are very critical. Okay, so as to ensure that the device continue to be able to function properly in the future. So this is the number first reason okay, because of the limit electromagnetic spectrum. Therefore, we need to govern the rules. Second reason regards on the safety. Okay, the past, the EMC test can mean the difference between life and death. In many applications like in the medical, military, industry, aerospace, and automotive product, they have this safety critical application. Okay, they need to be continue working in order for us to be safe. Okay, imagine you drive a car and because of EMC issue, the car suddenly just cut off the engine. Then our life will be in danger. So this EMC actually prevent this kind of situation to occur. If any of the function of those products fail due to electromagnetic, such as power supply search, ESD, or radiated electric fuel, then our life can certainly be at risk. Okay, imagine in Boeing aircraft, okay, there are 300 over of us in the Boeing aircraft, and we hold 300 over mobile phone on board, all transmitting 3 watt of power. Okay, it's actually the rigorous EMC testing that ensure all the electrical system of the Boeing aircraft can withstand this sort of electromagnetic environment. Third, okay, we talk about the quality of the performance of the product. Okay, the function and performance of a product can easily be affected or degraded by an external or internal generated EMC. For example, if the internal power supply becomes very noisy, and this can affect the sensitive analog data for sensor. EMC, like our cellular base station, okay, our base station actually emit up 
they can negatively affect nearby electronic product from data corruption because of the degradation of RF performance. EMC testing actually helped to ensure that the device will continue to work and function as spec in a presence of a typical EMC environment. Reason number four, product recall and find. Okay, if your company is caught selling product on the market that is non-compliant, the consequence can vary from insignificant to scary. For example, your company may involve in a complicated lawsuit and require to pay a fine or in some extreme case, jail. Okay, a product recall is also a possible consequence and is a very painful process. Can you still recall the Samsung Galaxy Note 7? Okay, they actually recall because of a battery faulty. So with this, I'd like to stop my discussion. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.